Hi Felters and welcome. In this video today we're going to talk about specialist needles, how and when you should use them and towards the end we're going to go through how to get that elusive smooth finish that we all want. Let's get started. First up we're going to do a 32 triangular and yes it's a bit odd to say it's specialist this to show you how big it is next to a 38 but I'll explain why. You can see the three notches on each edge because it's such a large needle. So this is just a carded slither um, or slither. If you start with this just to show you it the 32 does not go into it very well. Going back to my 38 triangular it works really well bringing it all together. So why the 32? Well, if you have a coarse wool, it is brilliant and it will bring it all together really, really quickly. This is a Swelldell wool, which is very, very coarse. Get your 32 out and that's why it's a specialist needle. It's fantastic for these kind of wools if you want to bring them all together really, really quickly. The 32 is, doesn't really work for a lot of the other wools and you'll feel it because you'll feel a lot of resistance. But on coarse wool, it is excellent. These little hairs are called guard hairs. Always end up pulling them out. They're like the waterproof hairs in a, in a fleece and they um, don't take up the dye very well. You always end up pulling them out. This is um, a wet felted my own mat we're using today. I'll link the video above if you want to make your own mat. Next, we're on to the 36 reverse. So a bigger needle will pull out more wool. So you can get a, a 40 reverse and it won't pull out much. So I've got a white wool underneath here and the reverse needle, you should be able to just hear it there. The noise happens as you pull it out. It's really obvious it's a reverse needle when you use it and it will pull wool out that you have already felted. So it's the opposite to a normal needle. It's great for creating fuzz, say on a, an antique looking teddy bear, for blending two wools together. There's another little guard hair there. So it's really good if you want to blend a couple of wools together, especially if you've had a long one um, and you'd pull it up. And then also you can pull it out and then felt it back down and create a, a mix of colour there or a blending of colours like that as well. And then there's one other way of using it. See, there we go. See, it's felted back down and it creates a different colour. If you have two colours and you want to soften the edge or merge the edge, you will use the reverse needle to bring it all up and then felt it back down again afterwards and that will give you a much softer edge. Next on to the star needles, a 36 and a 38 we're looking at. Now star needles have a ridge down the edge. So this is the triangular cross section of a normal triangular needle and this is the shape of the star. The edges are sort of pushed in and there's a ridge so it's really unusual. I don't use them that much so you can see the ridge there. So I find them actually quite strong. Now this is the 36 and it really didn't sort of go in. You had to use a lot of force. So I went on, see I'm really, really um, digging it in there. I went on to the 38 star and it was a lot better. And some people get on really well with star needles and love them. So here I am using it on a merino wool just to sort of see the difference. And it's really strong needle, it's fantastic, but you do have to use quite a lot of force. So if you're a strong felter, it will be good for you. I prefer a 38 triangular. It feels smoother and it still does just as much work in my eyes. Next, we're on to the spiral or twisted and I use a lot of 38s and 40s. You can see the spiral as you twist it. And I just think they work so well and they're so easy to use. And I feel like I'm still doing quite a bit of felting with them and they give me quite a smooth finish. So here I am using it on the merino wool and you can see it's actually doing quite a bit of felting as well. It still leaves small needle marks so we'll go on to the next needles to look through and this one is a 42 triangular so it's just a triangular but it's a 42 and I think this is a very good needle. You should, yes the spirals are great but this one because it's fine it does a really good job and it starts to get rid of those holes and we start to get towards the smooth finish that we really, really want. You see it's done a pretty good job there. I always give a little smooth over with my hand. Now this is a crown needle. There are barbs only at the very tip. They're very difficult to see. And this is again very specialist. So you'll start with your big needles and work to your 
um, smaller needles but higher number. Now the crown needles, see how it doesn't do anything on normal if you haven't felted it down. You have to felt the wool down quite a bit first. So see I felted it and then I'm going over. You have to have patience to use these crowns because they really are to get the ultimate smooth finish and they do work but they do take a bit of time and this one is a 46 crown, even finer and I didn't feel too much of a difference between the 42 and the 46 I have to say so I'd probably just stick with the 42 but you can see how we're really starting to get a super smooth finish and if you have the patience you could do a really good job. This is the 42 triangular on carded wool just to show you the difference and I think really the 42 triangular is a fantastic one. I love my spirals but see, that's a pretty good finish. And there it is compared to the uh, crown finish. So I don't think you need to go mad and get crowns, but they are good fun to have a try. This is a forked needle. There's one size. It has no barbs. It has a teeny fork at the end and it's really hard to see. And they're not sharp. So this normally is for sort of planting hair, like doll's hair or very fine hair. So when you get your wool and you start using it, it really feels like it's not actually going in at all. Just keep going, keep going. Um, and eventually it is all attached. It takes longer than if you were using a different needle, a triangular one. But I'll show you in a minute the difference between how far deep, how deep it uh, plants the hair. So this is just a spiral using exactly the same wool just to get it all in and to show you the difference. It's a lot quicker using the spiral to felt it in if you're doing animal fur. So there they are, both in, both very strong. That's good. But if I pull out, this was the one with the spiral. See, it's fairly deep. But if I pull out the forked one, it has pushed, that. it's really hard to pull it out, and it has pushed the hair in a lot further. So you can sort of see the difference there. See how much further it's pushed the hair in. So that is the forked needle, and it's really for sort of putting, I think, hair in for dolls. Just to summarise it all for you really quickly, the 32 triangular is really good if you're starting off with a coarse wool. Then I go to a 38 um, triangular. I put the black tape around it just to make it a bit more comfortable in my hand. And along those lines is the 38 uh, star, which is quite um, strong. If you're quite strong with your needle felting motion then that would, would very much work for you. Uh, then we go 40 spiral and along those lines I mean I use the 40 spiral an awful lot especially for finishing. The 42 triangular is very good too. I also use um, I think these are 38 spirals for starting off in my multi-needle tool. Um, so after you've used the 40 spiral or the 42 triangle or 40 triangle whatever you know you find is best or whatever you've got these are the crowns now these are for getting the absolute smoothest possible surface you could possibly get and will take you a long time but um, I found not much difference between the 42 and the 46 crown so it's completely up to you I'd probably go for the 42 to try and then we go on to this is the reverse sorry I just had to remind myself that's you can tell straight away for the reverse so the reverse is really good for creating a little bit of extra fluff uh, pulling the colors through and blending them maybe from the underneath and also for merging patterns so you wanted to merge these two colors along the edge there and then this is the forked needle which is very specific and probably far more for uh, using for doll's hair so just to note, I just wanted to go through. So this is the Heidi Feathers code because she has excellent needles. Um, so we've gone through quite a few of them. There's only one I noticed which I haven't had, I haven't got. It's the 38 Twisted Star. So I think I'll order that one and give it a go and see what it's like. Um, and the other thing I wanted to ask, in, I'm hoping one of you guys would be able to answer it. Why is there no 34? What happened to the 34 and what happened to the 44? Is there some strange myth as to why we can't have those? We go from 32 all the way to 46. So I'd love it if um, anyone knows the answer. Please put it in the comments below. 
This is a horse's head I did recently, so putting it all into practice, I start with a 38 triangular, then onto a 40 spiral, and maybe the 42 triangular to finish and help me get definition. And I'm pretty pleased it's a fairly smooth finish. I hope that has really helped you understand all the specialist needles that are out there, when you might use them and not to be confused by them or scared of them. Do, do order some and do try them out because that's the only way you're going to know whether you like them or not. And different needles will suit different people compared to their style of felting. If you know any other needles that I haven't mentioned or talked about, let me know, put it down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then you're really going to enjoy this video on multi-needle tool holders and which one is best. Um, and do subscribe and press the notification bell and then you will get to see my next video that's coming up next week on DHG specialist wools that again help you achieve that really smooth finish. Thanks for watching everybody, take care and see you again soon.